Hi everyone, I'm Tony from SEOES.com. Previously I made a video to show you how to turn a DJI Mavic into a Thermal Vision 1 using the Flare Bullzone camera. Uh, today I'm going to summarize the video so you can follow it easier. Also I'm going to add a few things to the video today so you can see how effective and useful this tool can be. So here's the DJI Mavic, the stock one. I've done nothing to it except for attaching a little adapter on top of it. Uh, here's the viewer boson that we are offering on our suos.com website. It has the thermal vision camera called Flip Boson on, in the front. And it has a DVR to record the thermal footage from the boson camera onto an SD card. It has the viewer downlink. It has its own battery so you can see it's still functioning live in my hand right here. As you can see the video from the camera on the monitor here. So to use it, you can just slide it to the adapter from uh, front to back, and that's it. You can fly with this. You can, you know, tilt the camera by hand uh, from straight forward to all the way down. The benefits of this design is that you, it's clear from all the sensors of the Mavic. You have all the downward sensors, uh, front sensor, all, all clear to you, so you can f have more confidence in flying. And also, you don't need to attach any lag extensions to the Mavic. Uh, very simple, quick, you just snap it on and, and fly. Um, some, somebody asked in a previous video if this is interfering with the GPS function. No, it's not. So You have all the sensors of the original Mavic to fly with. Uh, in the previous video, you can see that it, the Mavic flew with 15 or more satellites and when you're done you can just remove it quickly uh, slide to the front and then fold it up it'll fit right into the original bag or case that you uh, purchased alright so that summarized quickly the uh, previous video somebody also asked if we can change the color palettes of this in fact uh, you are able to do so uh, we include a USB cable so you can plug it in to the boson right here and then use the FLIR boson app to change color palettes and change other settings of the boson itself. So in a situation where you need close up inspection for example, this is a very great tool. Uh, for example, you can attach this thing on top of a monitor, the same monitor that you, you have been viewing but you can attach this on top of this same monitor and walk around uh, and do close-up inspections of things, machineries and things like that. So as if you have a very expensive thermal vision camera from FLIR. So, uh, you know, just with the boson. People also asked if this can be transferred to other platforms. In fact, uh, you are able to do so for example, this is the um, DJI Phantom 4. So this also features the design, like, you know, slide from front to back, and then hit a click. Uh, and now you have the Phantom 4 with the boson on it. Of course, we have done other feature, uh, design for the boson, and also FLIR View Pro camera. Uh, this is, you know, focus more on the conveniences and cost effectiveness of the solution. Um, also, the benefits of that of this solution is that it's the same for the Mavic. It's clear from all the sensors of the Phantom 4 as well. All the downward ones, uh, side, front, and back. You can fire with a lot of confidence. So, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a preview of the next uh, solution, next version of this viewer boson which featuring HD digital video downlink and it has an app to control and change color palettes, other settings like gain uh, or zoom while you are flying. So uh, with this version you have to plug into a computer and change it. So please stay t until the end of this video to see that preview uh, and hopefully we can release the final product very soon. All right. So with this, uh, we're gonna head outside and do test flights, durations, and uh, the rain test. In a previous video, we showed that it's about 15 minutes, but we landed 
too early. In fact, if we continue to fly, it will still fly. And then uh, we have about 19 and a half to 20 minutes on the Mavic. So you have another extra four to five minutes to fly um, with this. So the flight time of this is about 19 to 20 minutes. Okay, almost 700 meters uh, with just a little bit of degradation on the thermal signal, but I think it's still good. <laughs> 